Hey there YouTubers, it's Don from True Cable coming back at you again. And today we're going to talk about our Category 6A unshielded uh, field termination plug. And uh, I believe this is the only unshielded uh, field termination plug on the market that's readily available. And uh, the other thing is that this is a three-way field termination plug. And in other words, what it allows is for you to terminate your Category 6A cable going straight in like this or you can also have it on an angle up or coming up from down uh, because there's various ways of attaching the cable to this guy. So that helps make, uh, takes a little bit of the pain out of uh, getting a bigger uh, field termination plug plugged into something. So what exactly is a field term plug? Well, uh, it is a male end connector like you would find on a patch cable, but it's got all kinds of secret sauce on the inside that takes a uh, solid copper ethernet and makes it perform up to expectations, in this case, CAT 6A. Uh, and that's the only one that we offer. So, but you can use this for category six as well. Uh, just keep in mind that this uh, particular um, field termination plug is compatible from six millimeter to 8.5 millimeter uh, unshielded ethernet cable. So you can use any category you like, it's just that the outer cable jacket outer diameter has to be between six and 8.5 millimeter. All that aside, um, this, field termination plug is going to give you the best possibility of achieving the performance you're looking for. And if you're looking to make a patch cord in the field, that being something that has two connect male connectors on each end, uh, then this is by far the best way of going about it, especially if that cable needs to perform. Uh, it's also the best way of going about a switch to switch connection or for other, you know, a super high reliability connections that you're worried about. And it also handles up to 90 watt PoE. So that's something else to point out. So let's get into a little bit of unboxing and I'll show you how to quickly wire this guy up and how easy it is to work with. Be right back. Okay, so we've got our field term plugs here. They come in two, six and 12 packs. And we'll just quickly do an unbox here. I've already ripped into this little plastic baggie, but it comes with zip ties. Basically will help you keep the cable uh, at a stable angle. Uh, depending on how you're terminating it. Uh, a nice set of little fold-out instructions that are in color, and uh, it was done by yours truly, and I think they actually came out pretty well. And then, of course, in the box itself, this one is a six-pack, and you've got six field termination plugs. So, um, let's go ahead and actually get into terminating this guy, and I'm going to show you how this all goes. Okay, so here's some tools that are going to come in really handy when terminating the uh, unshielded field term plug. One is a cut and strip tool so that you can strip, strip your ethernet cable. Uh, another one is a flush cutter to, to flush cut the conductors from the conductor holder cap. And then parallel draw pliers like uh, the ones that True Cable provides are extremely useful for closing that conductor holder cap and terminating the actual uh, field termination plug. Now I'm gonna use the uh, T568B sequence. Uh, so on the cap, it, call, it, it specifies uh, you know, how you wire it for A or B. In the case of A or B, it's always blue and brown to your right. So you know you're working with the cable this way. So set yourself up for success, turn your cable around, organize things so that you're getting this in there properly to start with, because you don't wanna work with it like this and then try to, you know, bend conductors over. So set yourself up for success. The next thing is make sure that cable jacket edge is right up against this stop point right here. I'll point it out with my uh, clippers. So make sure it's right up against this stop point. And the reason why is because that stop point helps set the half inch maximum untwist that you can have inside this conductor holder cap to maintain performance. So we know that blue's going first uh, at the back here. So we're gonna untwist that pretty well all the way down. You don't have to worry about uh, untwisting it too much because it's so close to where it's gonna be going into the slots. So we'll just simply untwist it. I'm using a piece of cable jacket to help out. The rear conductor is gonna be solid and then the front conductor will be striped. Now, if I was to try to do it like this, it would be a little bit too tight. So I have to untwist one more time and that's okay to do. And then we put in the solid one first. And working with CAT 6A cable, you're working with thick conductors, so it can be a little bit of a challenge. And then the, then the uh, front one is the stripe. And there you go. That's tacked in the cable really good. Now we'll work with that orange rear pair. 
You can untwist with your fingers. You can use a piece of cable jacket. The cable jacket's useful because it keeps you from abrading your fingers. Um, so we know that the rear is always going to be the solid. So we're going to put that into the, the rear slot. And then the striped orange goes into the front slot. And in the case of the brown, we're going to be uh, stripe and then solid. So we're going to see if uh, all the moons line up for us here and if it lines up perfectly or if we have to go one untwist past. And it looks like we will, but that's okay. We're not going to be violating any rules by doing that. So we'll get the stripe one in first and then the solid. And we did have to go one twist on why because it, it would not have lined up perfectly for me. So I did have to go one untwist past these points here. And that's okay. Just don't go any further back than that. And now we work with the green. And this one's tightly twisted. So it's important to probably get your cable jacket in there. Okay. So that one's going to line up pretty nicely for us. So. We'll put the stripe one in first. That's on the edge. There we go. And then we're going to put the solid one in. And there we go. And it's going to be really tight, too. It's going to be right up there. All right. So before you go flush cutting anything off, though, make sure you've got this wired up right. So again, for T568B, uh, you've got your cable jacket sucked up all the way against the back of this, uh, this stop point here. That's important. Come in from a 90 degree angle to flush cut off these conductors like this. Don't try to do it from the side because you're not going to have enough room. There we go. All right, so your conductor holder cap's all wired up, and now we can go ahead and insert it into your housing. So with the housing, it's important that you note that there is a key here that matches up with this blue post. So put it in about a 30 degree angle or so just make sure that it's gonna the post will go through that square cut out there and then start pushing it down now it's going to be very difficult for you to push this thing closed all on your own quite frankly especially when dealing with really thick conductors that's where this comes in so i'll use the inside steps and what i'll do is i'm going to put it right across our logo there and i'm going to just simply snap down and it snaps all nice and neat all right, so to make sure this thing's closed all the way, you should have two tabs that are going into the plastic here, and they're latched in there. And on the other side, you should have the same thing. So we got two tabs latched into the plastic. So it's terminated. The next step is, is to actually put a zip tie uh, so that you can bring this cable either straight in like that, or you can also bring it in from this direction, or you can bring it in from that direction. So I've got a couple of examples already right here where it kind of shows you where that's been done. So that one's coming in from the rear and it's been zip tied. And this one is coming in from the top and it's been zip tied. Alternatively, I could have brought it in from the bottom too. But these are examples of how you can actually terminate this guy to get it into a tight spot. So there you go. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section for us. Other than that, I'm gonna say you have a great day and happy networking.